फाइव मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ट्रांजिट वीडियोज दैट यू शुड नेवर मिस एवरी ईयर ओवर ट्रांजिट्स दिस वीडियो ऑडियो आर्टिकल और वट एवर प्लीज डोंट मिस द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दीज फाइव ट्रांजिट्स बिकॉज every year transits will be same for many most of the players like you know every year sun will go through this this zodiac that zodiac you know and yeah around every time it is the same right venus will come mercury will come then jupiter of course once in 12 years it will change to about <coughs> one once every year uh, it will change the zodiac and after 12 years uh, it will come back to the same sign saturn as you know is like almost three decades but depending on your horoscope this is customized for you okay so you may be thinking oh yeah you know uh, yeah i mean uh, sun is transiting here it was every year it transits so how is it different right so you need to understand that transit should only be studied so st step one is your first your own chart that tells you the promise of the chart what is the capacity what is the level of the chart where is the where there is suffering where there is happiness you know pleasure and all this then next is the dashas okay and then the third is transits but people do the opposite they will first see their transit like for example they may say oh i have jupiter in seventh in transit so will i get married well is your dasha promising that if not then no use of seeing that well if if your dasha is also promising but is your overall chart supportive for marriage only then you will get married okay so first chart then dasha has done transits okay but let's assume you have already done this then now you want to know which are the five transits that you should not miss then here you go the first transit is the transit of your mahadasha lord which means if you are running the mahadasha of like you know jupiter venus saturn or whatever you need to see where is the mahadasha or transiting you know any any time of the year okay so for example if you are in sun venus mercury or moon or mars you know then every time it will change but you have to pay attention to that that is where your focus area can be and that is where your rather than focus i would say your results of your dashas can come through those houses at that time depending on what is the level of the chart and what is the promise of the chart of the dasha okay so if you are running sun dasha for example then don't forget to see the transit of the sun every month and all 15th it changes the sign so don't forget to see and try to see what your mahadasha lord is telling sun is telling in the chart and how you can harmonize this house with the results of the dasha all right very important please please don't forget to do that then the next dasha which is equally important maybe a bit less but equally important still is the dasha is the transit of the antar dasha lord so for example within sun you are running uh, maybe saturn okay so currently as i'm making this video saturn is in aquarius right is there in aquarius so therefore depending on your ascendant wherever aquarius is that house you should check and of course you should check your saturn what saturn is doing in the chart what saturn promises and depending on that things can reveal itself okay the antar dasha lord will tell you see the mahadasha lord's transit is at a mind level okay or rather you could say at a soul level then the antar dasha is literally the mind okay and pratyantar is the body so when transit change in pratyantar the event literally occurs physically okay antar dasha changes suppose antar dasha is telling you you will get married then it means now you will start looking for a girl or a boy okay and when pratyantar agrees it means now you are actually getting married okay and ma dasha is like okay do i want to get married at all am i ready for this <laughs> am i ready to take up the responsibilities that's the direction okay and antar dasha is like okay yeah i am ready now let's start looking for somebody okay and pratyantar oh it's my wedding please come <laughs> all right so number 3 is the dasha is the sorry the transit of your lagna lord your lagnesh your ascendant lord the lord of your first house the transit of that planet is extremely important because lagnesh will tell you where your focus is okay so 
depending on your transit, wherever the Lagnesh is transiting, your focus might keep changing. Now, that will happen within the scope of the Dasha itself. It will not go beyond the scope of the Dasha, okay? It will be within the Dasha. So, <coughs> so for example, if Venus is your Lagnesh, and now, for example, suppose for anybody, Venus is, you know, transiting in any time of the year, not now, but in general, suppose Venus is transiting your seventh house. So then does it mean you will focus on your married life? What does it mean if a person is 15 years old? What does it mean? No, then the person will focus on collaborations, you know, making friends and all this. <coughs> but depending on the Dasha, so suppose you are 35 and you are married and your Dasha is indicating the 10th house and then your Lagnesh is Venus. So you are either Taurus or a Libra Lagna and then Venus is transiting Aries sometime. Okay, then what happens is within your job or business, you will focus on collaborations. But because the Dasha is indicating 10th house, it will be professional collaborations and not just, you know, friendships or something like that. Okay, so that is how you will know. So there you will suddenly start focusing. So every year, every month, you should focus on the transit of the Lagna Lord. Very, very, very important. Okay. Number four, transit of the sun. Very important. Sun transit shows where the light is. Okay, the sun transit shows where you can do something which can make you a bit influential. So if you are very hungry and you like name, fame, power, position, authority, then the sun transit is a transit which you should look for. Okay, so for example, if your sun is transiting in the fifth house, then maybe you, you should... If you are in your office, you can, you know, take the mic and sing and you'll become popular because it's the house of creativity, right? If sun is transiting or sixth house, then it means you should do some hard work and by that you get some, you know, name fame. Okay, if tenth house, you take some new initiative, you become a leader or a manager and that's how you get name fame. <coughs> so therefore, the sun transit is very important for power, position, influence and authority. So don't miss the sun transit. And last but not the least, don't forget to see the transit of the Atma Karaka every year. Okay. So Atma Karaka is very important because Atma Karaka will tell you how things are changing at a soul level. Sometimes have you seen you, life is demanding something else from you, but you are hell-bent on doing something else, right? Even if you know you should not be doing that at that time but at a soul level you are not ready to do something which you should or maybe you know you are having a lot of money in your job but you, your soul is telling you no no maybe now it's time I leave my job and I start my own business okay so wherever the Atva Karaka will transit there your focus will change at a soul level the Lagna Lords the transit will show where you are focusing your mind okay and the Atma Karaka's transit will say where, where your soul is, okay? So therefore, all these have to be seen together and don't think one is more important than the other, alright? So to summarize, Mahadasha Lord, Lag Antar Dasha Lord, Lagna Lord, Sun and Atma Karaka, alright? So please check these transits every year, every month, but after looking at your chart and your Dashas, only then you should look at transits, alright? Because recently somebody asked me, okay, if the Dashas are the boss, you know, why should we transit, right? So, therefore, you should know how to approach astrology. If you go the other way around, Dasha, <coughs> if you see transit, Dasha and chart, you you will be miserable. You will fail very badly, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and see you again soon. Jai Siya Rao.